Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Lil Dirt Lil and today we are talking about uh, kind of the issues that are going on in my school right now. So, what uh, everyone has decided on me being transgender in my high school. So, just this morning at 8 a.m., I met with my uh, principal and I think the like top guidance counselor. I don't know if he's of the district or if he's of the school or anything like that. All I know is that. He was, of course, an important administrator, and uh, yeah, I got to meet with them to make sure that we, everyone was on the same page of, of different laws and stuff like that, me getting my passport changed, and everything in that little general area. So I'm here to update you guys on what was the consensus or what everyone came to agreement on. Now, pretty much, we're just where we started, and that's okay, but uh, there are a few things that have come up, and I want to talk about them. So, on the topic of uh, me swimming for the guys team, they said they'd be willing to bat me on that and they're definitely willing to push that forward. So we just have to turn in our paperwork to the principal and the uh, athletic director and uh, I will get to swim for the guys team. Now, uh, on that topic, I don't necessarily want to swim for the guys team because uh, I would get demolished in every single race and as much as I love swimming, it would no longer be fun anymore to, you know, absolutely come dead last in every single race. So. Uh, if that happens and I have to go without testosterone, there is a good chance that I will leave swimming and just go straight to theater and uh, band and that's the kid I'll become rather than a swimming kid, even though I love swimming a lot. Um, like that, that is just where, uh, that's my that's my thought process on this. Like it, it's, it would be entirely unfair for me to swim against them. So um, yeah, without me going on testosterone, that'll probably is what will happen. So I don't know if we're actually gonna turn in our paperwork this year or if we're gonna wait till next year, but that will be decided closer to the year and closer to swim season. On the topic of bathrooms for swim season, uh, they're gonna play it by meet. So the majority of my meets are held at home. So of course I'll use the male uh, locker room and restroom there. But on the other meets, they're gonna contact uh, the you know the whatever who owns the pool, the coaches and stuff like that, and be like, hey, which bathroom should he use, etc. Like that, and then I'll I'll go to whichever one, which I think is totally fine. I'm glad that it's gonna be like settled beforehand, and that I'm not gonna have to be like kind of like anyone wanna come with me to go change real quick because I don't wanna get kicked out. On the topic of bathrooms in the schools, um, it's the same as it was last year. Uh, I either use the nurses' restroom or the girls' restroom. In the girls' restroom, I would prefer not to, um, of course. I know a lot of trans males who do use the females' restroom, and I don't know if they have a problem with it. Uh, I, I know a couple of them just aren't out yet, and I do know that the school has, you know, kind of like a, a no policy on that. Now, the school, I, I think, I think we'd be willing to per persuade the school to change these policies if it were possible, but the district doesn't have any policy set in place, so it's kind of like up in the air. But their thing right now is they're waiting for the Supreme Court ruling to come back, and I'm a bit uneducated on that. I don't know exactly which one they're waiting for or what's going on. I, all I know is that they're waiting for the su su Supreme Court ruling to come back or a lower court ruling um, that would get me to use the male's restroom, etc. Now, on the topic of my passport being changed to have a male marker, um... My district's uh, number one enrollment thing is birth certificate. So I would have to get my birth certificate amended. And in the state of South Carolina, that cannot get amended until you have sex reassignment surgery. So that is in no, that's not gonna happen. Not while I'm, you know, under the age of 18 and need dual parental, yeah, no, that's just not gonna happen. Uh, not for a while. So, you know, I, I mean, I can't even, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to start testosterone under the age of 18. So mm, I either have to uh, get my get sex reassignment surgery, or they have to come back with a different ruling that you know kind of protects transgender kids a little bit more. Um, on the topic of me uh, changing for PE, uh, they've given me access to uh, some bathrooms around the gym area, so uh, I'll be able to change in there uh, by myself. So I won't have to you know pick which one, which I think is the most godsend thing they could possibly do rather than make me go into the girls or, you know, me go into the guys. I would like to go into the guys, but, you know, there would be times when I'd feel uncomfortable. It depends on my class. So, um, I'm definitely, like, really, really freaking thankful that I'm going to be able to have access to those other bathrooms. Um, and I've been given access to two administration bathrooms so that, uh, it's, like, it's not a big deal. It's like, hey, man, just go in there, say you need to use the restroom, boom done you can go and it's like I think that's also a really nice thing rather than just going to the nurse because I really I, I don't know I really feel uncomfortable if I ever go into the nurse because it's kind of like what are you doing here 
I'd rather go, I don't know, it's so weird, I'd rather go to the administration's office, but there's a good chance I'll probably just sneak into the guys. I rarely use the restroom anyways, but uh, on the topic of me sneaking into the guys, they said, don't get caught. So, mm, look who wins there. So, I've been told by a couple people that uh, if I were to get punished by the school for using the wrong restroom, like, what are they gonna do? Call my parents? Arrest me? <laughs> Sue me? Suspend me? Hold my diploma? Oh god, the horror. <laughs> like, could you imagine how bad that would probably backfire against the school? If they suspended me for taking a piss. D what I'm trying to say here is that, in my opinion, if your parents are supportive, fucking take a piss in the male's restroom. Like, what? What you going? What you going to do? What are you gonna do? Am I right? Am I right here? On the topic of me going on my theater trips or any other field trips that I might do where it involves staying the night, uh, like uh, PDA and STA, my drama competitions, um, last time we just made a uh, transgender room. We had like the trans guys room, which are technically a bunch of females sitting in a room, but we're all guys. So yeah, the room's just gonna be, I'm gonna gather all the trans boys around next uh, next couple drama trips, and we're just gonna stay in a room together, because then I think we're all happy, and I, I think the school really does agree with that. So um, I do think that is the best option at hand um i can't really think of anything else that we just that we discussed today that's really of interest to any of you guys um so if i come with any more updates uh i will let you guys know but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like down below um what are you guys going through with in your school do you guys have the same problems as me some of you guys live in a little bit more conservative states rather than south carolina you know the fucking republican godsend trump state so um let me know down below. I'd really love to hear from you guys. I really like whenever you guys comment on my stuff or DM me. Uh, I love it so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.